Today I'm going to show you the differences between portable travel closets. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is my go carry on rollerboard luggage and I love this bag. It's my favorite rollerboard that I've ever had. It's just a hard sided case and it goes with me on every one of my trips. And on my future trips here, what I wanted to start doing was using these portable travel closets. Now I have shown you this one. It's by Tabitora and this one is an extendable closet and it has shelves and you can put clothing in here I use the bottom compartment right here that zippers up for laundry But then you can pack shirts and pants and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff in these compartments And then you just compress it all down and throw it in your carry-on now one of the things that I have noticed about this and this is the extra large is that it's just about the same size as my carry-on so if I just open it up here and lay this in here it fits but it takes up all the space now sometimes I'm carrying some other stuff with me some handouts some materials maybe I'm not going on that long of a trip and I'm not taking that much clothing or sometimes I want to carry a much larger toiletry kit now enter this this is also by Tabitore and this is their portable travel closet. And as you can see, it's in the same color scheme, but you can get them in different color schemes. And I wanted to show this to you because I think this one actually fits more people's needs than the extra large. So this is their standard size here and it comes inside out when you get it. So you have to kind of turn it inside out like this. But what you get here is exactly the same thing, but it's just in a smaller form factor. So once I turn it inside out and now I zipper this bottom portion closed I can open this up and what we have here on the very top here is a buckle strap and it's adjustable so I can actually put some stuff on the top and then buckle it down so if you have something like a sport coat that you don't want to get compressed you can put that up here maybe something larger you know that doesn't compact a sweater or something bulky you can put that in here too then you have two metal hooks on the side here and this is for hooking over your closet bar so that you can hang this down and what happens now is if I release this buckle here this whole thing extends up so I have a travel closet as you can see three compartments just like the XL and then this bottom compartment now with a zipper on the front and because this is separated I love using this like I said for laundry for things that you just might want to isolate because they're a little dirty a little nasty you don't want them to soil your clean clothing this is where I like putting that so it's just separated you know it keeps the odors in there now the sides here are like a jersey mesh material so they're very open very thin and then on each of these little platforms there's a wire frame that goes all the way around. So that's what gives it its square shape. And then the inside here is just fabric. So it works a little bit like cot, right? And then up here too, underneath this top portion, there are two little pockets right here. So if you have some smaller things, some socks, ties, handkerchiefs, something like that, that you wanna sort right in there, you can put those in there. Now, what I love about this is its size. So if I just give you some measurements, front to back, we're looking at 11 inches and side to side, we're looking at one foot. So what this does is it fits in your rollerboard much easier. In fact, it really only takes up two thirds of the space. So when I am doing my packing, you know, say I'm taking this nice PVP t-shirt, and now I put it in my travel closet just like this. So when I hang it up, I actually have my closet with all my clothes already sorted. I just compress it down and now I can put it in here, but now I can actually pack my other stuff too. I can pack, you know, shoes over here. I can pack toiletries. I can pack accessories or vacation gear, cameras, that type of thing. So in most cases, especially for shorter trips when you're not taking as much clothing, I think you can fill this sucker up with everything you need and have enough space in your rollerboard luggage to take all the rest of the stuff for your trip. So if you want to pick up this smaller portable travel closet, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.